Hi everyone, I'm Diagnose Dan, and in this video I'm going to show you with a real-world example the importance of measuring under the exact same circumstances in which the fault occurred. Measuring under different conditions or different circumstances might hide the problem and lead to misdiagnosis, as you will learn in this video. In this video we'll go through one of our help desk cases. This case is from a workshop that asked for support diagnosing a 2018 BMW 3 Series F31 with a problem in the electric tailgate. On this vehicle, the customer complained was that the electric tailgate didn't automatically close all the way. The last part of the movement, the servo function or soft close, didn't work. So the last part of the way, the tailgate had to be pushed shut by hand. The workshop told us they had already replaced the soft close motor, a button to open and close the tailgate, and they had already taken a look at one of our bulletins that describes the exact same problem. In that bulletin we state that the problem can be caused by one of two switches that fails inside the lock of the tailgate. In the bulletin we will guide you on what to measure on which pin when the tailgate is open or closed. Now the workshop told us that they measured that and it was all fine. No problem was found with one of the switches. They also tried to reinitialize the tailgate with the scan tool, but nothing resolved the issue. So the workshop tested the tailgate lock according to our bulletin. They went through all the steps and the tailgate lock was fine. The switches were working properly. They replaced the servo close motor or the soft close motor, which is a known issue on these models. And we have a bulletin for that and they are known to fail, but unfortunately this time it didn't solve the issue. They replaced the button. So at this point, our help desk operator was leaning towards a wiring issue. So he assisted them in checking the wiring from the tailgate to the control module. After taking the appropriate measurements, our help desk operator and the workshop came to the conclusion there was nothing wrong with the wiring. We tried to remotely reinitialize the tailgate using the original BMW scan tool, but that didn't resolve the issue either. So at this point, even our help desk operator, which is a BMW expert, was scratching his head. After going back and forth with the workshop for a period of time, our help desk operator realized they weren't really making any progress. So at one point he decided they had to start all over again. They had to begin from scratch and start with the tailgate lock again. Inside the tailgate lock, there are two switches. When the tailgate is opened, both switches are open. But when the tailgate is closed, both switches switch to ground, exactly as mentioned in our bulletin. The workshop told us that they went through all the steps to check the switches and everything was as expected. Nothing wrong with the tailgate lock. Just to be sure and just to double check, our help desk operator asked them a question. How? And where did you measure this? They told our operator that they actually had removed the tailgate lock, put it in a vise on the workbench, closed the latch with a screwdriver, measured the switches, which were both closed, then opened the latch with a screwdriver, and this time the switches opened, just as expected, right? We told the technician to build everything back together again. And this time we were going to take the measurements at the inputs of the control module. This way we can include all the variables, including the lock, the wiring, the bending of the wiring. But this time the measurements showed us something different. When the tailgate was closed, one of the switches indeed was closed and switched to ground, but the other one remained open despite the tailgate being closed. So what had changed? Because the technician took the lock out of the vehicle and placed it in the vise, he had changed the circumstances and the conditions. He closed the latch using a screwdriver and this allowed him to push the latch a little bit further as it normally would and to apply a bit more pressure. So when he came in with his multimeter, the switch would still read closed, even though installed in the car, it would fail to do so. This case was a fantastic example on how changing the circumstances might hide the real issue and lead to misdiagnosis. The workshop replaced the tailgate lock and now the tailgate is fully opening and closing again. If you're also interested in the bulletins shown in this video, or thousands like it, then go to diagnosedan.com and read how our services can improve your business.